the most important thing when learning a new spot is mastering your drop. That marker just gave me the best drop for Ritzy. If you want to win more consistent off spawn, you have to master your glide. And because I hit that marker perfectly, now I have the best drop. Looking at the drop map, it's looking like... So y'all can see this. I'm, I'm literally... I've got the screen split like this and I'm zooming in and I'm marking the map, right? So like right here, I'm seeing the closest point to jump. And the closest point to get to the POI is right here. So I'm going to zoom in, mark it with the side of this rock here. I'm ready to go here, mark it. That's basically the drop. Come back out quickly, angle myself how I want to be, and jump. Now it's all about hitting the marker without having to double check, without having to like look down, you know, and, and quickly check. But you'll see when I do hit the marker though, I am going to check to see, make sure I hit it. So look down right away. As soon as you pull your glider, you look straight down. And you'll be able to tell, okay, was I too far ahead of the marker or was I too far behind the marker? And if you were one of those, then you can you can say, hey, I'm going to be short or, you know, now this guy's going to get this or whatever. Looks like this marker is for this, but I'm going to quickly grab this and come right down here. That's a, okay, that's a one try break. That's really nice. And you could hear this chest from that corner there, which is really nice. I like that. Let's pop a big pop before you fight this AI. That's AI. I gotta be a little smarter here since there's a player nearby. Okay. Floors over my head here, block myself off. Hello, edit. 200. Now, I'm gonna come out here every time. Every time, I think this is a very important detail. You, you're gonna put a spacer here and you're gonna break this and get this. You need to have this floor before you do any of the vault opening. As soon as they hear you open the vault, they know it's game time. I'm putting layers in between it all, so I, I make sure I'm good. And I'm going to get this floor here to make sure I have an, an even layer to fight on. I'm not going to play any funky layers or any of that. So securing the vault is this number one, right? When you get it. Looting coming in and out, right? I'm not going to sit in there and I'll get the AR in a second. Right? In and out. That's super important. Now I'm out safely. Now this guy really wants it. He's going to edit on me. I know there are scos. Dead. Boom. Okay, I need to make space here. And watch these windows. Let him get in. Okay, now I'm just exploit zero ping. Pop this big pot. Since he has to pick this floor now. I have a stair for extra cover here. He's gonna edit. Four. Box him in. Now he's full box. Okay, take my time. Reload my gun. Make a little cheeky peek here. You got it. I need to make a play for this back. Uh oh. Alright, boom. Just simple maneuvers, you know what I'm saying? Something simple. Obviously, the vault is in this building. Of course, the vault gives you great loot to start the game with. So, it looks like if I was to imagine where am I going to be doing the most fighting here, I'd imagine it's this building, which makes me want to learn it even more and be a master at playing this building even more. Like, knowing that that guy's shockwaves and that there's whites down here. Like, I didn't even know that there was going to be cabbage and all this stuff down here. Like, knowing where the cabbage spawns are, right? Like, there's a kitchen here and a kitchen here. So, that guy ended up breaking both, made them fall into the same spot. That could be a great, you know, grouping spot. And then again, this third layer is really handy to be able to go up and put peace here. And super important, because that guy could have easily done the same thing to me, where he just jumps up, puts a floor. Actually, is that even possible? If you're like, if you're a box setting here, can you even... So like learning this, like you need to be like over to the left here. Is that even possible though? Hold on. I don't think that's possible, right? I mean, if you jump and sprint, right? If you like, if you do that, you need to sprint. So you can't just regularly jump. You have to sprint to do it. That's annoying. Oh, you can build on this. A few moments later. I'm dead. Why, bro? What? 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 Like, why? I mean, whatever. I'm going next. It doesn't matter. But why is that guy doing that? What is that positioning? What does that play? I just don't know the audio. Okay. All right. What did we learn in that game? We learned that you can build on the automatic doors in the black building. We learned that breaking up in one spot in black building can get you easy 
produce boxes. Guaranteed shotgun from killing the vault boss. Okay. I think that's those are all really good notes. I mean, we've got a great starting point here. Drop map. Okay, we've never hit a marker like this. Coming in. I'm gonna try hitting this one. Boom, jump. Sometimes jump the market because I'm learning. I think it's around there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double check the spot looking at my map here. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. All right, so this drop is pretty, pretty perfect. I really do think that the strategy for this spot, I, have, I need to explore the apartment side, but I really like just kind of coming in here and doing this. This feels, this feels nice and quick. You're just getting a gun right away. Boom, you're coming up. You're getting this chest if it's there. You're breaking up here to get the cabbage, like, right? Yep, and then you're killing this guy. I like that. Like, there's some security in that. that you can feel a little bit safer about it. I like it. Obviously, I didn't block the vault off that game because no one's here, but it's fine. Or like maybe one guy's here. I like that. You can just break up right there and come into the next part of the building. That's nice. These little tips like this, what I'm, what I'm learning is going to be really, really helpful when I'm drawing up a loot route. And then we're at the top. Okay, easy peasy. Come over to this other side. Chest one that spawns what, here. Ammo box. Mats. You can build on all of this. Unbreakable walls, geez, if you get, oh, never mind. Don't get stuck down here, guys. You're about to get killed. That's probably like a triangle of, triangle of walls. You're gonna die if you go down there. The weapon case is under courtyard? No, I have no idea. Explain. This is my first day learning this spot. Y'all have knowledge like that, definitely let me know. So you're saying there's a tunnel, a, t a thing, what's it called? Togo asked too many questions. What does this take me? Okay. Ah. Now I'm in the tunnel. Ah, this is, so this is 100% spawn or what? Oh, this spot's kind of crazy. Is there upgrade bench or just these? Dude, you can get really, really stacked without even looting docks. You could, I mean, I don't know if docks is a, it's definitely docks is not splittable and competitive, but you, you, if you just get the main side, you're good. Oh, there's uh, there's a chance for it to, like that. Yeah, like eleven percent chance. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Well, look, dude, our loot and mats pretty solid. Let me let me check out metal here because I know it's uh, gonna be a big part. How much for coaching? One hundred forty-five dollars a session. That's my private coaching, but you don't have to pay for that. I I do offer weekly free coaching in the Thesis Thesis Discord, and then you can also learn if you don't get your gameplay watch. You can also learn from many others. Wait, someone said this isn't like a zipline. You can actually take fall damage or what? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. What's included in a private session? Okay, so let me explain like a, f a free member VOD review, which like I said, I'm doing these weekly, maybe twice a week. So you can hop in, get your gameplay watch. There's a chance that you could be a part of that and you could be featured and you know, I could watch your game or we can do the private session where it's like straight direct one-on-one. -on -one. So the difference between them, the major key difference is, is going to be the member VOD review. I'm not taking notes because I've built a community that is so well, they're so good at taking notes and being consistent with that, that whenever I VOD review in the past, I just literally mentioned while I'm doing it yo guys write this down this is the biggest this is the biggest point from the game or hey yo like these are the you know these are the five things like I can I might like make a recap over the games but every time I'm done watching a game let's say like tomorrow I definitely would, would love for all you guys to be in that discord and hop into the live tomorrow so you can actually see firsthand but you'll see at the end of each game I'm gonna go do a chat I'll read the chat I'll, I'll ask questions that you guys have about the game and then a bunch of people post notes, like 20 people post their notes. I encourage people to make their own notes, um, all of that. So I, I don't personally take notes in member of reviews. I'm not going to like uh, you're going to hear me say things and I'm going to I'm going to watch them in detail, but I'm not actually taking you the, the notes. Another thing that's included in a private session that's different private sessions. One, I'm taking your notes, so they're super in depth. But here's an example of what my private session notes look like. So this is super in depth. This is over a two hour tournament. We, we did a live coaching for his performance eval last week. So super in depth notes. Also, the reason why it's labeled a session, not like coaching hour or whatever. The, oh wow, that guy's literally crazy. The reason why it's labeled a coaching session, not an hour, is because it ranges. It's the minimum, it's an hour, but I've gone all the way up to two hours before where it's just like, 
if you're not getting the idea or we have so much to cover, ideally an hour to an hour and a half, like that is like, I try not to go longer than an hour and a half. When you're paying for a private coaching session, first of all, I understand that there's, it costs money, right? Like I completely get that as every, every dollar that we all have is hard earned money, unless you a drug dealer. I understand that. So I try my best to provide as much value as I can for as long as I can to go over as much as we can. It's best if you have VODs prepared or if you, at least if you have a, a like, hey, Cease, I really want to know how to get better in solos. Like if you have a question, one thing, I can take it and run with it. I can go and we can go super in depth. But yeah, if you want to be super prepared, I've had, I've had all types of ranges where they just show up and like, hey, what's up? I just want to play ranked. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know, critique my ranked. Okay. Like I can do that. Of course, I think there's better uses to it. Or, hey, how do I get better fighting? How do I get better this? How do I get better that? Or here's this gameplay. What do you think about this? Watch this gameplay and let me know what you think. So we can do those things. If you're prepared, it's better. Obviously, it's a better use of your time and money and my time, right? Because I can actually provide you maximum value. Uh, and then after a session's over, right? Another difference between a member of Otterview and a paid Otterview or paid, paid session is that... Like I'm, I'm here to answer questions. If you're like, hey, during this, you know, during our session, you talked about this creative map. Let's say we do a VOD review about everything off spawn and I get you as teed as I possibly can, as ready to, as I possibly can. You ask a question about, hey, what am I supposed to do in end game? And how do I put like, I'm going to be like, let's do another session. Let's sit down. Let's take our time. Let's go in depth on the end game. Let's, you know, get some games prepared. We don't have to do this every day. I don't think it's efficient for anyone to do a live VOD review or a paid VOD review every single day. So, you know, wait a week, get some, get some games together, get your best moments and we'll watch and we'll focus on the end game or we'll focus on the mid game or we'll focus on like whatever. That's the difference. You're getting more, you're getting private, you're getting one-on-one, -on -one, you're getting direct. Everything is more. It's in depth. It's after all, everything is over. There's more, all that. I really f***ed my job up here. Let's see what it looks like to play Super Shambles. All right. Mats is super important. When you don't have good guns here, mats, 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 mats. And I saw a guy land black, but I think I can maybe take advantage of maybe getting this AR. He's on the AI, right? Yep. He's stuck or what? Yep. Break down. Pop this, get as much HP as I can, get this chest, get a med kit out of it, go for vault. Okay. Vault. Nice and slow here. Claim this wall. I kinda wanna claim this stair as well. I need this floor as well. Put walls around it. Make sure I'm super secure when I go in this vault. No one's taking advantage of me. No one's gonna capitalize on me coming in here. Come on now. Nah. Give me this drip. Drip, drip, drip. Climb to the top. Ugh. All right, GG's man. Based off my knowledge, I should be able to just break out. Yep, courtyard, come up, take height in this building. Height's always gonna be obviously number one. 100, cone. He's gonna keep spraying because he takes some on Bozo. Watch him. Here we go. Oh. All right, I tried. I tried. Oh, oh, wait, that was actually that was actually a bad play because that was my wall. That's tough. That's on me. All right, landing late. Honestly, playing off the timing of killing that AI is kind of kind of chill. Just hearing that guy fight him and then sneaking in, definitely the move. Okay, what did we learn that game? What did we learn that game? We learned that quirky features, anything that we learned in the POI. Nothing that I need to take down for notes, but like just playing on top of the buildings was super chill. And also it does seem like you can't just like sit on top of the building and just like the buildings aren't, not all the buildings are sloped like perfectly. So you can't just sit on top of one of the, the smaller, like slightly sloped roofs and not be seen, which is nice. All right, let's go. Let's lock another drop here. Oh my God, we missed our drop. That's oh, okay. This gives us time to practice this other version. Let's keep testing this here. Let's do this road one here. It's gonna be in line with this fence here. Oh, let me pull my glider. I wanna make sure I hit this marker. Okay, double tree. So bottom of the double tree in line with the fence, but not on the railroad. I think it's gonna be, I see the fence. Let's see. Oh, 
All right, what? It's on the other side of the road. Okay, I'm gonna be short. Well, oh, god damn it, Nico. Got the Nico drop again. Let's see what we can do. Mats over everything again. If you have a bad drop or bad guns, Mats will win you. I don't think anyone's clock tower. Probably someone in the black building and probably someone up at the apartments, but we gotta see. He's gonna run for it. I'm gonna snipe him. Oh, he's in a crash pad. I'm gonna snipe him. Okay, never mind. Guys, I lied. I'm gonna slide on him though. He's gonna edit and pump me. I'm dead. Jeez. I'm dead. Oh. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why did my sprint stop? Why? I f***ed up again. God damn it. Wow, these hot drops go crazy at Ritzy. Let's hit this right here. The blue one on the road. This one is said to be perfect. Okay. Should be right here. Okay. Heater. Heater. Come on. Uh oh, this guy's... He's come back for some vengeance. He's smoking me. This is kind of clean though. Hold up. The god drop. For... Nothing. Are you serious, bro? It's so, bro, this guy's skipping on my screen. It's so laggy. All right, I gotta lock in and not be late dropping. Guys, this is this is just a waste of time if I'm doing this. I'm looking at the Discord right now, I'm trying to see what else I can fill in. Surge route, I need to I need to think a bit more about that. I I think I yeah I need a little bit more time, probably another hour to until I can, can like think about one person's loot route, especially when you're contested and uncontested, like what you're gonna do. Building callouts, it's pretty simple. Work, forecast tower plans. I feel like you just gotta time it, but I'll get those timings written down as well. Okay, drop marker. Let's lock in here. Let's hit this marker. That's right. Uh, let's go left of this. Rock, bottom of the tree. Boom, boom, boom. Line it up. If I hit this marker, it should be perfect. Nice. Solid. Solid. One guy in black, or maybe that's the AI. Sounds like an AI, because he's not sprinting. Let's go up here. To the top. Okay, can we go up one more? I gotta learn these spots. Nothing's up here. One force one. So don't go up too high. Gun, I already have that. Get some mats and then we'll get inside of black. Boom. Dude, you could easily bait the vault like this. Oh my god, 100% you could. One person sits here. One person sits here. That's kind of sketch, but like 100% right here. Oh my god. You gotta be careful. Hello? I'm dead. My peak is horrible. Snail real quick, hold up. All right, as long as he doesn't have shockwaves, we're good. Enjoy, thieves. Enjoy. I need some whites. Hey, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Hit a little bounce up. 
That's really, really good to know. I'm gonna definitely put that in there. Those little things like that can help you just get that slight, that 2% advantage. Like you're just right on top of the guy in two seconds. Or you're, you know, you're running away, you're getting chased, and you just get that bailout right there, and you're, just, you're, you're safe, you're gone. Your game is saved. Or even like, even doing things like that. This POI has a lot of opportunity with the zip lines. Even though you take fall damage, you can, you can do it right. Seriously? He's gonna get one first try. Oh my god, dude. Was I born fucking yesterday? Like, what am I doing? And how'd he hit me only for 25? That's crazy. He's gonna run? You're gonna run. Are you serious? You gotta stop sometime, bud. The time is now. Dude, is this guy insane or what? This guy's actually a... I'm dead. Oh, bro, I almost f***ing won that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I still want to be really efficient. I know this gameplay might not be the most entertaining to watch, but we're trying to speed run and learn Ritzy. Like, we're trying to learn this shit quick. All right, what did we learn? We learned the bouncy thing, like, utilizing the bouncy umbrellas to switch layers slash bounce to zip lines easily. Especially useful when getting chased. Utilizing the bouncy umbrellas to switch layers. All right, boom. I need to make some coffee after this because I'm, I'm getting a little tired. I ain't gonna lie.